So here in this video, we're going to learn how to find the perimeter of any shape. And to find the perimeter of any shape, you do not need to memorize any formulas. The only thing that you need to do to find the perimeter, and I wrote this for you in black, is you need to add all the sides of the shape. So let's see how this works by doing a few examples. So first, let's get started with this triangle example here in blue. Here we have an isosceles triangle, which means that two sides have the same length. As you can see, I marked the left side and the right side with these little dash marks, which means the left side and the right side have the same length. So if the left side of the triangle is 6 inches, we know that the right side of the triangle is also 6 inches. And like I said before, to find the perimeter, the only thing that we need to do is add all the sides. So we know that the left side of the triangle is 6 inches. We know that the right side of the triangle is also 6 inches. And we know that the bottom side of the triangle is 3 inches. So now we're going to add all these together to find our perimeter. And our perimeter is equal to 6 plus 6, which is 12, and 12 plus 3, which is 15 inches. So now let's move on to our second example, which is a square. Here we know that our bottom side of the square has a length of 2 feet. And we also know that a square has all sides of equal length. So if the bottom side is 2 feet, then we also know that the left side is 2 feet. We also know that the top side is 2 feet. And the right side is also 2 feet. And once again, to find the perimeter, we need to add all the sides. So our bottom side is 2 feet. Our left side is 2 feet. Our top side is 2 feet. And our right side is also 2 feet. And if we add all these together, our perimeter is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 plus 2 is 8 feet. Now moving on to our last example, here we have a rectangle with a bottom side of 8 meters and a left side of 5 meters. And we know if it's a rectangle that the opposite sides have equal length. So if the left side of the rectangle is 5 meters, then we know that the right side of the rectangle is also 5 meters. And if the bottom side of the rectangle is 8 meters, then we know that the top side of the rectangle is also 8 meters. Now to find the perimeter, we just need to add all the sides. So our bottom side is 8 meters. Our top side is also 8 meters. Our left side is 5 meters. And our right side is also 5 meters. And if we add all these together, our perimeter is equal to 8 plus 8, which is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. And 21 plus 5 is 26 meters. So I think many of you get the idea, in order to find the perimeter of any shape, you just need to add all the sides.